Be the mad Welshman. And um, welcome back to Grip, which is currently still in early access, but it releases. Is currently still in early access, uh, but it releases. Is currently still in early access. Yeah, gonna deal with that. Okay, um, currently in early access, but it releases next month. Um, or fall. Next month, September. It releases sometime in the autumn. Uh, and I must have clicked on something without realizing because now I'm I'm loading. Why am I loading? Why why did this happen? Uh, also, the uh, wonderful Unreal Engine thing of you you can see the window, you can see the loading screen. Uh, I can't. Oh, right. Why? Why are we here? Oh, an attract mode. An attract mode that uses the Unreal loading. My brain. What? What? Was that the primer? No. Let's go through the tutorial. Let's let let's go through the tutorial while I process the fact that that happened. And then we'll do some races and and then yeah, um anyway, tutorial because I am rusty. Um, I have not played Grip for a while. Uh... No, I couldn't do an Accelerate Start because... Yes, okay. Um, because I forgot it's arrow keys, not WASDA. Okay, so the steering is better, the slower you go, yeah, and it's got a good sense of speed, as you might have guessed, and the tutorial automatically slows things down, because of course it does. Yes, I'm trying to pick up an orb, thank you. Yes, okay! Thank you. So, yeah, the tutorial remains irritating. Yes, I am aware of the pickups. Jesus fucking Christ. Well... Okay, here's our blue shell. Here is a blue shell. That is what it is. It is a blue shell. Let's hit the blue shell, shall we? Okay, the blue shell looks very blue shelly and flashy. You may remember, uh, if you watched uh, my previous stream of Grip, or the review, or, you know, um, that I am not fond of the Assassin Missile. Uh, never have been, never will be. So there's our back shield. It will mostly protect us against the assassin missile. It's the only thing that will, though. Okay, turbo boost. We love those. So there are two slots. Left shift, left control. And there we go. Vehicles have high downforce, which means you can do this. Now we're on the top of the track. <sighs> Quit event. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the slowing down with the text is really annoying. Um, 
but otherwise that is a good tutorial that nonetheless didn't tell us basic controls. <clears throat> I vaguely remember that the loading screen used to tell basic controls, um, but basic controls are arrow keys, left shift, control. Bam, there is your thing. Uh, down for break, forward for boost. And right, let us do... A my, they've got a lot. Uh, let's do a classic race. Uh, let us... Ooh. I don't know. Um, not acrophobia or hydrophobia. Um, not yet, anyway. Uh, Orbital Prime Haze, that looks cool. Um, and I didn't... I didn't actually look at the options. I should have looked at the options. Uh, because there is a um, more obvious rubber banding button. Um, and there is a you blow up uh, when you get hit enough button. Uh, and you can turn those on and off. So it has granular difficulty, which is a good thing. Uh, the aesthetic, I love the aesthetic. Um, I believe I said I love the aesthetic from, you know, the, the early time. Um, but it is a good aesthetic. There we go. So we have a track warning. That's fine. Boost! No. We did not, in fact, make the boost start. And there we go. Uh, so Grip is the spiritual successor to Roll Cage. A game where the uh, main thing is... Oh, hey! It doesn't matter which way up you are, you'll still move. Okay. Uh, I would not turn that down right now. Uh, these look like drunk missiles of some description. Let's find out. Oh, yes, they are. I like them. I like them already. Anyway, lots of power-ups, lots of obstructions, lots of chances for us to use the uh, design of the craft being downforce and... Oh, God! I didn't even know that was a thing, but now I do. Uh, that's a, a repulsion field, I believe? I could be wrong, but uh, there we go, there's our stingers again, and oh god, oh, oh no, oh no, um, if you have motion sickness, uh, you, you might as well leave now, there's nothing here for you, uh, I really should have mentioned that, um, oh dear, I think we might be I don't know what happened there. I I don't know what was going on there. But there's an assassin. It's going to attack the leader. And we are glowing. That's really a good thing. We're seventh. That's equally really a good thing. I mean, this is my first time playing this track, so... I feel justified in making love to all of these walls, but... <laughs> oh god, I love it when things like that happen. Uh... Right, can we... Which part of the track are we driving on today? Make my mind up, please. Oh God. Um. Ah. Uh... So we are ten. Um. Yes, this is certainly a track. I certainly know what's going on. I, uh... <sighs> I understand why I blew up. No, no I don't actually. I this track is incredibly confusing. 
I want to go home. <laughs> Wait, I am home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the that's the anti back shield thing. Right, got it. Okay. Somebody please say something in chat because oh god, help. <laughs> No! No, I did not! I'm not normally this bad at racing games, I swear! Are, are you some kind of boost? Are you... Right. Yeah, that one always catches me out. So I, I should not take that route. This is a learning experience. We're, we're learning things. And most of what I'm learning is, oh god, where is the actual track? Let's try an easier track. Let's try one that isn't a work in progress. Um, in fact, let's try one I know. Just, just to get back into the comfort zone briefly. <laughs> very, very briefly. <laughs> oh god, no. Okay, um, I'm pretty sure Yuri Industrial is the one. Yeah, there we go. So, destructible vehicles are off, catcher persistence is off, which means there's no rubber banding. Um, I got the difficulty on hard, apparently. I didn't know I had the difficulty on hard. Um, that's at least comforting. I, uh, comforting in the sense that I know why I fuck, why I was, I know part of why I was 10th. Another part of why I was 10th was where the hell was the track. Uh, so there, there might be some signposting difficulty on that particular um, track. Uh, yeah. This one, if it's the one I remember, um, is not nearly as bad. Nope. Didn't do it that time. Oh. A nice daytime track like this. This is extremely my shit. While also I'm fucking up. Um, they've given this a major cosmetic makeover if it's the same track. If it's not, then, well... Oh, wow. What even happened there? Um... Oh, yeah. Uh, space is handbrake. I forgot about that. Um, that's a useful tool. You might want to remember that one. I certainly won't. Oh! 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 Hey! <laughs> that's a missile. I don't even know what was happening there. Um, we are on fire. Uh, we have turned destructibility off. So... Duh. Yeah, that was a bit chaotic. Um, to be fair, the whole thing is extremely chaotic. Um, I'm really glad I'm not in first place, and that is not a reaction I should be having. This is why I don't like blue shells, because anything that makes me say, Wow, I wish I wasn't, I'm happy I'm not in first place, is perhaps a problem. 
Um, anyway, yes. We're third. That's a much better showing. Um, don't ask me how we're third. Um, because I do not, in fact, know. Um, to be fair, there are a lot of things I do not, in fact, know at the present time. Uh, one of them is what's going on. Another one is who shot me. Um, what is this blurry effect and why is it? Um, can we turn that glitch effect off? while still retaining a notification? that That's a good question. That is a very good question that needs an answer. Um, should I have gone left instead? That's a question I'll be asking myself until next lap. Um... Can we maybe not have um, situations quite like that? Um, anyway, with no rubber banding, this means that uh, the race is um, like actually fair, which may not be perceived as fair. Um, I am perceiving this as fair because, honestly, I have not a damn clue what is going on from second to second, and yet I'm still fifth. I consider that a win. And this, to be fair, is the roll cage experience. The roll cage experience is, what the fuck is going on? Where am I? Oh god, oh god, oh god. Um, and... I think that works. Uh, that must be some kind of slowdown mine or field or whatnot. Oh, right, that's where we went on the first lap. Right, all becomes slightly more clear. Like, very, very slightly. Um, and we're second, somehow. So, yeah. Feathering the uh, feathering the handbrake is a wonderful thing. Um, this protector is a situationally wonderful thing. Uh, do <laughs> I'm glad the AI don't look like they know what they're doing either, even if in fact they are wrecking my shit. Okay, okay, come on, come on. We can pull out. There we go. We came fifth. I don't think that was the race, I remember. Um. Rubber banding is a contentious one because. It's not actually meant to, um... It's actually meant to increase the challenge. Uh, you may have noticed that, uh, wherever first place was, first place was way, 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 way ahead of us. They probably lapped us at least once. Um... Yeah, let, let's turn on Catcher Persistence to give you an idea, because this works for the player as well as um, the, uh, the opponents. But what it was originally meant to do is it was meant to create the feel of a racing pack, if you will. Um, while, you know, keeping the challenge. So no matter how good you were... Um, somebody's going to at least be on your tail. That, that's the purpose of rubber banding. I don't personally actually find it that annoying, unless it's super, 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 super obvious. 
Um, and in this particular case, you can turn it off. And we did for most of the uh, stream. Okay, Alhatra Waste. This was literally the first track of the game. Um, I'm fairly comfortable with it, even though it's been redesigned several times now. <clears throat> And uh, I'm just gonna shut up and race for now. Oh, did we get you? We got you with that. At least partly because you actually did have a shield. So uh, this is a game where you can indeed go hell for leather uh, in the first few tracks. We'll get to the uh, not first few tracks and oh, there's that slowdown field again. I don't know what the hell this is, but it's very weird. Oh, there's a missile on our tail. I have yet to work out the uh, the ideal method of dealing with that. Oh, thanks for the boost, mate! Ow. Um, yeah, no amount of rubber banding is going to save you when that happens. Oh, I think that was actually a hold to lock on. I've been doing that wrong. Oh, well. There we go. Let's actually try and race rather than, you know, like... Or not! Because God knows what the hell is going on... Oh, I see what that effect was. Okay. Uh... Anyway, um, I cannot see the chat fully at the present time, so I will actually uh, answer any things that are being said. Um, once I finish this race, which will be a lap, um... Okay, let's see if I can hit someone with this power-up. So, without rubber banding, uh, the fourth place would be 50 million miles ahead of me by this point. Um... Alright, did that then home? No, it did not. Um... Anyway, part of this is that I was going hell for leather and as such um, my handling is through the floor because I believe I've got the speed not handling craft uh, because there are different cars um, it's not 100% um, it's still nice when occasionally something like that happens It's less nice when something like that happens. Uh, we are on the fourth lap. Um, 
Might as well take it out on the uh, person in first place. Part of this, um, like, this game does not actually support going super, super, super fast. Um, uh, I'm, I'm hamming the words here. I'm, I'm sorry for, uh, not explaining things as well as I maybe could. Uh, part of this is, of course, that... Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, right, now I can see the chat. Um... Uh, I would actually disagree with you, Power Wolf, on uh, Ballistic NG. Um... I feel that they made it uh, more accessible. Um, you want to see a sharp corner? I'll show you a sharp corner. I will show you the sharpest of sharp corners. Um, because I don't think they've uh, they fixed... Well, no, it's not that they haven't fixed, it's that this is quite clearly part of the design thing that you... Uh, you'll see. Uh, not be acrophobia. Acrophobia. Or was it FIC outpost? Acrophobia. Um, anyway, right. Let's turn this back to, uh, medium. Um, actually, let's go to the menu. Garage. Vehicle, yes. Um, right. So we have several different things. Uh, the Eversaur, for example, is the, uh, beefcake. The Tempest is the Speedcraft, sorry about that. Um, yes, unfortunately I'm not because I like people playing games. Um, I like more people playing games. The more people play a game, the more money gets made. Um, honestly, I kind of like this stocky little Vintech Marlander. Um, yeah, so there are different, uh, there are different ones. Um, I'm actually going to go with the Marlander, and I am going to, of course, make it hot pink. Really hot pink. Ah, oh, Silverstream had... Silverstream was infuriating, but it had one trick. And once you knew that one trick... Anyway, right. Classic race, acrophobia. You will see, uh, or maybe you won't see. I'm not sure. Um, I certainly didn't see it the first time I fell for it, and the second time, and the third time. Um, I may still fall for it. Uh, in fact, I probably will, because as we, uh, as people who've watched my channel know, uh, my racing style is hold accelerate. Steer, air brake, hope. Um, this does not always work. And I am perfectly willing to admit that this does not always work. And this really doesn't work with grip. You may have noticed. <laughs> Nope, still not a boost boat. Okay, so first off, this is a nice open daytime track. With, uh. Yeah, make damn sure you know which way is up. And make damn sure you've got one finger on the air brake. Because it's incredibly easy to fall off this track. And you'll notice that, uh, oh, oh wait, aerial jumps with very little guidance. Fuck! That is cool, however. I will never take away from Roll Cage the fact that a lot of its shit is... 
fucking cool to look at, even if you don't know what the hell's going on. Oh. Might that be a rewind? No. Okay. Uh, right. Are we coming across along? Ah. Are we coming to the corner? Yes, we are coming to the corner. That's the corner. Or rather, um, that is sort of a corner. It's weird. Anyway, oh no! There's the corner! That one caught me out quite a few fucking times. Uh, and still does. And yeah, this whole track just catches me out. <laughs> but even though um, I am not going to win a race because holy hell, this is like... What even? Um, I can't say I'm not enjoying myself, even though the track design is absolutely, like... This ain't gonna win prizes. It's exciting, but oh my god, you need about 12 times the track memorization, and god help you if you hit a barrier at high speed. God help you if you hit anything at high speed. So this is a train wreck. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I love the aesthetic. I love um, a lot of things about... Oh, wait, invisible ball? Didn't even see that. Um, yeah, this is not a game you take at top speed, or if you do... Uh, you're, you're a better man than I, Gunga Din. Um, God, that's a horrible poem. I should, really shouldn't be referencing that. Um, right, I am in fact uh, letting go of the accelerate key every now and again. Uh, and it's not exactly... <laughs> oh, God. Uh, no, Ballistic is not, in fact, a free game. It is, um, Ballistic NG is now, I think, uh, four pounds, five pounds? I forget, um, but it, it's there. Right, okay. Let's try that again. This time with not just holding down the Accelerate. <laughs> so... Yeah, um, that, that really hard corner, that, that 90 degree corner is better signposted than it used to be. Um, I will definitely give the game that. For a while it was, yeah, but, um... Duh! Um, so that just happened. That's a thing that can happen, and oh god, camera. Camera, what are you doing? Um, Okay, can we catch up to anyone? Uh, 
our survey says... Yes, we can in fact catch up to someone. Oh, and those are explosive barrels. Good to know. Okay, now we're doing a little bit better. In fact, I'd say day and night better. Um, with the exception, of course, that we are still in second, uh, tenth place. But, you know, we are at least not... Uh, what's the word? Um, off tracking uh, as, as much as, uh, as we were. That is not to say non-zero. Try again. <laughs> yeah, uh, I got it while it was free, and then I got a code because, of course, I reviewed it. Um. <sighs> I am going to get a place in this track that is not 10th to 7th. I don't mind if I get 5th. Or something like that, but but I'm not going to get tenth. That is the goal of this stream. Anyway, the snow gives you a clue as to uh, where the floor is. Ah! Bloody... When the opponent sideswipe you, it's fucking annoying. But again, this is part of the roll cage experience. Um... Damn it, no power up. Ah! That was close, though. That was. What? No. No, no. R. Thank you. R. Uh, R button is reset. It's a useful thing to know. Camera! Thank you. <sighs> no, I don't think we're going to get a non-10th non, non position here. Uh, remember, I've turned the rubber banding off, so every time I fuck up, uh, people get further and further away, and that is... yeah. This is why uh, catcher persistence works for you as well as against you in uh, games like this. Now you know. And I'm still not sure what the hell that is. Like, that's not clear. What the hell is that? What, What is the purpose of that? Yeah, see, that's... That's not more like it. I was going to say that was more like it, and then it wasn't more like it. Uh, yeah, actually. Oh, shit. So, yeah, that's possibly an intended way of um, dealing with that. Hit wall in such a way that you don't go off the edge. That's not good. That's 
not good. Nor is my position. Oh, 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 mm, mm, mm. Ah, ah, ah. And other noises of effort. God damn. Oh. oh. What is... Okay, we passed somebody. How did we pass somebody? When did we pass somebody? Oh, there they are. And... <laughs> well, that was a bit of a fuck you as they passed. I like it. Oh, yeah, no, no, that wasn't a terrible idea at all. <sighs> okay, I give up. You've beaten me, Pod. You, you've, not Pod, Grip. Uh, anyway, Kurish, uh, yeah, this, this is Grip. It, it's Roll Cage 2018. Um... And it's evil. And, and... It's possibly the first future racing game to actually break me. <laughs> it's not joking when it says hard. I'm... I'm agreeing with, with this assessment that that was a hard track. That maybe I should not be playing. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, why? <laughs> Let's try a normal track and then we'll see if there's anyone online and if there's anyone if there isn't anyone online we'll call it a day. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Um oh shit, I didn't look at the video options to see if we can turn off some of the really annoying stuff like the glitching and and, and I don't even know what half of the stuff going on was. <laughs> oh, this one Oh, wait, no, was this the one we did earlier? Now, this is an extremely pod-like track. Just looking at what I see right now... Yeah, you can, you can bog off. Okay, so... Oh! Oh! Oh, that's an evil power-up! I don't know who had that, but that... That drifted... That dragged me left! Right, even. It dragged me in a direction, which I wasn't actually going. Okay, so according to the position meter, we, we are in fact pulling up on people. Yep, yeah, there we go. There we go, have a double dose of exploding back, whatever that was. Oh, and that slows you down, okay. Right, so far I'm, I'm at least understanding what's going on in this track. And I'm fifth. That that's usually a sign that I'm doing all right. That that I'm doing something well. And fifth with no rubber banding is like no joke. So props. Okay. That's the field of view button. Oh wait, it's an autopilot. I think. Is it? I don't know what. Oh. First track off. Oh, there we go. Uh, what? Where? Which? Yes, that way. Still fifth. Somehow. Unless I'm suddenly not fifth when I come out of this tunnel, which is a thing that has been known to happen in racing games like this. By the way, uh, I don't actually like the Gatling. 
Uh, I don't know if you knew that. Oh, well, that was kind of neat. Um, that wasn't. Not knowing where third place is, uh, that's not helping either. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think we briefly saw them just then. I'm not sure if this is the direction we went. Yes, it is. So I'm meant to do nothing here. I am not meant to fiddle with that. Because the ideal solution there is just to let it happen. Now that's a phrase I didn't expect to be saying. And that missile hit the floor. Um, I mean, that missile hit me! These are things that can happen. Um, by the way, if I had uh, destruction on, uh, I would be dead about mm, three or four times over by this point. That camera weirdness is still weirding me out, to be honest. Um, but there we go. Every now and again, the uh, the drama cam for low, it is a drama cam, uh, will be weird at us. And we are apparently still fourth, even though somebody passed us. Um, I don't know if that's... What is going on with that slowdown? I don't even... Like, if I don't know what the hell's going on with something, maybe explain it somewhere! <sighs> anyway, I came forth. Um... Yeah, I don't know... I don't know what a lot of that was. Um, let, let's... Right. Um, I'm almost ready to call call the stream now. I've streamed three things. Uh, I've, I've been terrible at one of them. Uh, I was good at one of them, and I don't even with grip anymore. Um, wait, what? And, and other noises of, like, just confusion. Um, right. Let's try and find... Uh, in the video, right, video settings, do we have, uh, sharpening anti-aliasing, uh, post-processing, film grain, which is there, uh, motion blur, we can turn off motion blur, but I actually am alright with the motion blur, sharpening, fine, whatever, um, no, no, oh, wait, I was meant to do, um, multiplayer. Multiplayer, yes. Um, and... No idea. Uh, I, I have no idea what is going on. Um, right, synchronizing with server. Let's see if anyone's online. And that will be a good point to end uh, the grip stream on. Uh, that's apparently a LAN game. Let's see if quick join will get us anywhere. Except that line game. <laughs> See, Andy X, not ready. Uh, well, they want to do Fick Outpost. Um, if uh, they they are willing to uh, to play with us, then yeah, cool. Um, we we shall play a multiplayer game. Uh, there the, there are bots if you do multiplayer that can fill out the roles. Um, so just having a two-player thing is just fine. Um, I have no idea who uh, the player is. This is the first time I've managed to find a player or even tried. Um, so the fact that I managed to find a player on my first try is good. Yes, words. <sighs> having the words a lot today. Um... 
Right. Okay. Shit. So, uh, tap for event summary. And Andy is second. So he's racing against a bot, he's having a bit of a rough time of it. Um, Thick Outpost is the one I remember with lots of boosts, and he is uh, apparently trying to tackle this the same way I do. Unfortunately, we've still got a bit of a race to go. Um, ah, what the hell, we might as well watch and commentate on a race that somebody else is playing. Um, because goddamn, <laughs> I sure as hell can't commentate while I'm actually racing. <laughs> anyway, FIC is uh, one of the early tracks. It's quite a nice one, actually. It's a lot better signposted than later tracks. Um, there are multiple paths. Uh, I personally like the leftmost path in this particular race, uh, always going left. And uh, these tunnels are pretty cool. Um, the music, oh my god, the music. You can import your own music into this game. And that's a feature I like. That's a feature I'm quite fond of. I've been fond of that ever since uh, Wipeout Pulse. Yes, Wipeout Pulse was, I believe, the first one to actually let you do that um, in the Wipeout series. Um, but, you know, it's a good feature overall, and I like it, even though the soundtrack of this game is pretty good, and I will actually be uh, taking a look at the soundtrack because um, it... It's industrial, and industrial band names. Industri is it industrial? No, it's not industrial, is it? It's tech techno. Yeah, techno. God, music genres. They're tough, eh? Um, oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, as with many Unreal Engine games, uh, alt tabbing, um makes things go a bit screwy. But yeah, um, this is some pretty cool music. The music in the game is definitely a high point. The aesthetic in the game is definitely a high point. The uh, excitement is definitely a high point. The track design is very uppy downy. <laughs> um, like, they're not joking when they say a track is hard. And I honestly think that, like myself, Andy may be relieved to have another player rather than the bots, because the bots equally don't fuck around. <laughs> oh, right, let me, um... Trans drum and bass electro. Thank you, Power Wolf. Yeah. It's it's hard to keep track of my um my techno industrial uh EDM like like It's difficult to keep track of genres. Yeah, words. Ah <sighs> Actually, that is another thing I like that I've just noticed aesthetically. Um, the back protectors have different looks. Oh my god, what what even happened there? What have you done, Andy? <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> Yeah, you do kind of have to concentrate, but anyway, the back protectors have a different aesthetic depending on the make of the vehicle. That's quite nice. 
I like that. that. That's a good, simple aesthetic touch that most people would miss. <laughs> yeah, fair. Come on, Andy. You can do it. And then we'll race. Hopefully. Maybe. Um... But tell me, Power Wolf, it, is it Thrash? Is it Trans? Is it... Sorry. Is it Thrash? Is it Black? Uh, is it Fantasy? Is it Power? Is it Death? Yeah. Subgenres. Uh, I'm probably missing a few. There is Industrial Metal, of course. Um, wait, wait. Industrial... Sorry. Industrial is the, the mixing of metal and techno and... Ah, words. Anyway, right, let's hope we can race with Andy, otherwise this will have been a very awkward end to the stream. <laughs> this will have been a very awkward cap. Um... Classic race. Um... Oh yeah, if if I could get people to to actually play with me on grip, then um, yeah, I could indeed have a confusing time, um, and it would be an interesting confusing time. Uh, unfortunately, um, as you may know um, from you know like my uh, salt chat or, or um, time warriors or whatever. Um, I am not the most reliable person when it comes to multiplayer. You you ask me multiplayer and I'm like, mm, drawing, or I'm out, or you know, like, I I'm I'm not terribly easy to get hold of, and I know this is a flaw, and and I'm, ah ah, there, there's nothing else to say there. It's a flaw of mine. Right, will Andy actually play? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm mostly a single player man, and funnily enough, um, one one of the things I constantly find in uh, the strategy reviews that I do is people go, "Oh my god, hot seat is dead." No, it fucking isn't. I like banging my faction dolls together. Thank you very much. Why I like Age of Wonders 3 so much. I, I, I can spend... Right, okay. Are we actually gonna race? Do... Yeah, Andy's gonna race! Let's do it! By the way, uh, Tab shows the, uh, the, the stuff. You're rarely going to be doing that because, as other people have noted, um, you're going to be concentrating on goddamn racing. Concentrate on the race, fool. There we go. Slight touch on the brakes. Oh! 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 I don't know what that what happened there, but that was yeah. Was that Andy? Or was that a bot? No, it's bots ahead. It's it's bots ahead of us right now and look at that. I don't care if I'm losing. 
That's one hell of a way to... <laughs> that's one hell of a way to change tracks. Okay, here we go. Here we go. No, Andy is not doing well at all. Oh, that's a shame. Eat missile. Right. Okay. Leftmost turn here is actually pretty cool because very often there is a boost hidden and even if there isn't, look at all the sweet aerial stuff you can do and still not lose. Uh, that's a reset. <laughs> that's some interesting multiplayer physics. Oh, come on, Andy, you can do it! I believe in you! Oh, apparently that just locks on. And that's another reset. No, hold up. Um... Yeah, Age of Wonders 3 is... Uh, I, I should really get the Halfling um, add-on for that at some point, because, uh, yeah, like, Halvelings, it, Halvelings in Age of Wonders 2 were, like, interesting. Hmm. But I went with the Frostling DLC, so, you know. Because Necromancers. Love me some necromancers. Right, I still have no idea what the hell that is. Always two skelly mans, yeah. Yeah. I could actually work out what the, what that was, even though I, I couldn't see... I can't actually see chat properly at this point. Um... Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Necromancers always for the win. Um Come on! We can do this! We can do something! Certainly. My confidence has kind of been shattered by the past three or four races. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Oh yeah, once again, I have to say anything that makes me say I'm glad I'm not in first. Oh, that was a sweet drift. Oh, I forgot! Shit! Drifting is actually a thing in this game. I completely forgot and the tutorial doesn't actually tell you. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Folks. Folks, not guys. So... Oh, ah, bleh. Words. I'm... Folks. No, like, folks. And here it is again, this weird slowdown. What the hell is this? Like, it sure as hell isn't the catch-up assistance, because that's turned off. I'd like to think it was an enemy power messing with me, but... Like, I can mess with myself. Thanks. Wait, no, that... No, um... <sighs> 
one of these days, I will say something that can't be construed like that. <laughs> God fucking damn it. <laughs> okay, we're at lap four of four, eighth place, and... Oh, well, I hope Andy's having fun, wherever he is. <laughs> Game will end in one minute. And there it is again, there's that weirdness. And there's the Unreal Tournament weirdness. Like, come on, baby. You can do it. You can do it. Um, no, the... the the jank is, uh, Unreal Engine jank. Um... <sighs> like, all... All Unreal Engine 4 games seem to have this weird alt-tab jank going on, uh, and also loading screen jank. Um, I don't know whether it's just me, or, you know, like, a lot of other people who have Unreal Engine 4 games, uh, get that, but... That's basically what it is. It, it's not the game specifically, it's Unreal Engine 4 in general. Um, so I, I just want to make that clear. Uh, anyway, so this has been Grip. Um, very exciting, very confusing, um, very aesthetic. Oh, oh, soundtrack, soundtrack, yes. Settings, uh, audio, here we go, okay. So, band, bands who contribute to this include uh, Full Contact, with two Ks, uh, Silence Groove, Entita, uh, Revo, Mart E, Extigma, Pragmatic, and Imperium. Uh, and all of these are pretty damn good tracks, so music works quite well. Um, I just wish I had a fucking clue, uh, what was going on with a lot of the game's features. Um, and, you know, obviously the track design. Yeah, exactly. Good music in a racing game, or, or any kind of game, good music is essential. Um, and with grip at least, it fits, it works, it fucking pounds. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, yeah, very interesting. Um, hard mode's not joking. Granular difficulty, which I like, um, needs more signposting, probably. Um, but thank you everyone for hanging out. Uh, if you like the streams... Oh, yeah, and this. This is very weird, because this is an attract mode in an Unreal Engine game, which of course means loading, and when the attract mode, when you quit out the attract mode, you've got more loading. Um, attract mode in an Unreal Engine game with, you know, like, load times, that's a little odd. Uh, anyway, right, thank you very much for everyone who hung out on the stream. Uh, and uh, if you like the streams, if you like the art, if you like the reviews, then please uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, we've got emojis, we've got all sorts. We've got a Patreon, we've got themadwelshman.co.uk for the reviews, uh, which also has a lot of support links. And uh, yeah, let's just end it on watching this honestly fucking cool attract mode that nonetheless is very weird. <laughs> Oh.
Oh god, don't even. Don't even. You you were there for the wipeout threads. You know how I feel about first person future racing. Oh god, no! <laughs> I'm gonna have to put a motion sickness warning on this video and oh my god. Yeah, no, that's enough. That's enough. I'm I'm cool. I'm cool. Yep. Thank you very much for hanging out. Take care everybody and have a lovely weekend. <laughs>